limited. To attempt to build a new organ from scratch requires the most versatile cells of all, embryonic stem cells, cells whose genes can switch on and off to become all the cell types in the human body, cells derived from embryos around five days old. The most exciting part of genetics without question is the genetics of development. How do you get from an egg to a human being? How do you get from a streak of tissues in the embryo to a heart? Now, if we can crack that, it's conceivable, only conceivable, that we can do the job ourselves and regrow a heart. I mean, think of the medical problems it would solve. But to solve those problems requires a step that many find repugnant. When we create embryos, specifically to harvest stem cells for experimental purposes, with the idea that the, then the embryo will be destroyed so it won't come to term, that is really dangerous. That's eugenics. That should not be the way we proceed with science. But the science is proceeding, and with such extraordinary results, the ethicist's voice may fight to be heard. Growing new organs for transplant sounds like a Frankenstein fantasy, but it's becoming reality here in Japan. This frog has eyes that were grown from scratch artificially in this lab. They work perfectly after being transplanted into the sockets of the frog by this man. Professor Makoto Ashishima has made an amazing breakthrough. He's the first scientist in the world to create from scratch a sensory organ from an embryonic stem cell. Embryonic stem cells are the building blocks of all creatures, whether frog or human. After a sperm has fertilized the egg, it begins to divide until after four or five days, it's a 200 strong ball of cells. These are stem cells. At this point, they have the potential to become any part of the body. If we can harness this potential and direct it, we can grow any organ of our choosing. At the Tokyo University, Professor Asashima has taken stem cells from a tadpole embryo and cultivated them in the lab. The challenge is then to persuade the stem cells to turn into eyes. We put various inducers into a test tube with the stem cells. By altering the condition of the cells, such as changing the concentration of a protein inducer called actin, we can create different organs in the test tube. These eyes, grown in the lab, are transplanted into tadpoles who've had their own eyes removed. The next challenge is to get the transplanted eye to work. And once again, while genetics has mastered the mechanics, quite how the engine is switched on remains something of a mystery. The nerve on the eye grows towards the optical part of the brain and then it stops. A nerve then comes from the brain and the two nerves connect. At the moment, we just don't know why the nerve from the transplanted eye grows towards the brain. As the tadpoles mature, the million dollar question is, does this pioneering science actually work? Can the young frog see through their new eyes? To find out, Professor Asashima has harnessed an unusual natural quality of the frog. If the frogs can't see, the body of the frog becomes dark. If the frogs can see, even through one eye, they become a much lighter color, sometimes white. In this tank, you can clearly recognize the lighter color frogs that can see. Some are even white. And the darker color frogs where the transplantation hasn't worked, and they are blind. Professor Asashima's hope is that this futuristic vision could one day quite literally give eyes to sightless children. There are different degrees of blindness, but if we can grow eyes in a test tube, then there's a chance we can cure the blindness using stem cell treatment. As Professor Asashima increases his knowledge of how the genes work that govern these stem cells, he is learning to grow other frog organs, kidneys, livers, and one of the most complex organs of all, the heart. This beating frog's heart is waiting to be transplanted. 
It's the next objective on the professor's list. In Professor Ashashima's experiments, the stem cells are derived from embryos sexually produced by male and female frogs. <laughs> 